This is a first because I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Or more of an unbagging video, I guess. Since this came in a bag. I got this from GameStop using my um, Power Up Rewards points. And let's see what the heck it is. Watching, you already know what it is. As you can clearly read the title. So let's go ahead and cut this open. And see what its contents is. Skyrim Daedric Sword. Yes, it's a Daedric Sword letter opener. The box is kind of... Eh, it's a pretty crappy box, not gonna lie. It's just cardboard. But it does the job. Anything else in here? Um, let's see. GameStop Power Up Rewards. Uh, we're so glad you cashed your points for this really awesome item. Elder Scrolls Daedric Sword Letter Opener. I have to say, we really love it when members get these cool rewards. Now go build, up point, balance, back up, so we can send you more gifts. Enjoy. Yeah, that's what you tell me. All you want is my money, don't you? Anyway, that, that was it. Lower the camera down a little bit so we can get a better look at it. Um, this is pretty hefty. Not, not the heaviest thing I've ever felt, but I was assuming it was going to be a little lighter. So let's go ahead and open it. Here it is. Take it out of the packet. I guess it's super glued onto the styrofoam in the background or something oh it comes in i guess they had this like hang, hung up on a wall or something it has one of those little holes where you can hang it on stuff probably like this look it won't even like stick come off how nice is that you know what i'm just gonna open it with the scissors so i put it right back in when i'm done i'm one of those kind of people as you can probably tell in the background once i have something of collection I don't like to open it. Or at least I'll put it back when I'm done with it. So I just cut the piece off here. And let's slide this baby out. Set this up in the background here. And it is a uh, GameStop exclusive. So I'm assuming you can't buy this anywhere else. Other than at GameStop that is. But with your points. Because I don't see that I don't see them having it at their store anywhere. Are you gonna stay up? Yes, you are. Okay, so here's the actual piece itself. Um, it's made out of a metal. I would assume it might be stainless steel. Now this part here is supposed to be the sharp part. Um, eh, not too sharp. I guess I could get the 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 work, the job done. Maybe if I slice really fast, it would probably leave a scratch. I don't think it would cut your finger off. Um, detail is pretty nice. Very detailed around the handles. Even around here. Except, um, they didn't get the colors right. If I remember it, some parts are supposed to be black. It's supposed to have red along the blade. Or around the handle somewhere. And this is just, a uh, grayish black. The lighting isn't the best here, but I mean, the color that it's picking up on the camera is basically the color that it is here. So, let's see it work, shall we? This is the first letter opener I've ever used, so I don't know how this is going to work. Bank of America letter here. So, let's give this a go. This is my first time using this, so I'm just going to assume. Probably stick it through here. Or how the heck do you use this? Oh, there we go. Slice. Slice, slice, slice. Make sure not to cut my finger off. So there you go. Didn't make the best cut. Once again, this is my first time using a letter opener. But I guess I got the job done. If you were to cut it from the side, you could probably just do the same thing. Let's imagine that cut wasn't there now. 
So let's start it. Or it could just tear up your whole letter. And there you go. So yeah, overall, um, I think it's a pretty nice piece. Not really... Maybe to carry around, if you know what I mean? Like keep it in your wallet and stab someone. But it's a nice collection piece. If you're into this kind of stuff. Which I like. Um, it's a pretty nice display piece, again. If you were to have this maybe on your wall or something, and then you have friends that like Skyrim, or just swords, knives in general and stuff, I think it would look pretty badass there. I guess you do, you, you do have to be careful because the point is pretty, pretty stabby. But other than that, there it is. I think this cost me around 11,000 points, and I had like 20, so I was like, might as well get it. Um, a little expensive, you ask me. I would say cut down on the price a bit, but it is a nice piece. And once again, I thought it was gonna be smaller and less um, less heavy. I'll show you compared to my hand. Here's my hand. Here's how big it is. And then I don't. I really don't have that big of a hand anyway. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this, uh, give it a like. Thank you. So, without even opening it, I could tell you that this is, this is pretty hefty. It's not the heaviest thing I ever felt, but I, would, I was assuming it wouldn't be this heavy. Not, not again, 